my childhood. Factual questions and answers. Where was the author born? The author was born in the island town of Rameswaram in the erstwhile Madras state. What was the author's father's name? The author's father's name was Jainulabdeen. Describe the author's ancestral house. The author's ancestral house was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and brick, built in the middle of the 19th century. How did the author contribute during the Second World War? The author collected tamarind seeds and sold them to a provision shop during the Second World War. Who helped the author earn his first wages during the war? The author's cousin, Samsadeen, helped him earn his first wages by catching newspaper bundles thrown from a moving train. What qualities did the author inherit from his father? The author inherited honesty and self-discipline from his father. Describe the author's childhood friends. The author had three close friends in his childhood, Ramanadra Sastari, Avindan, and Sivaprakasan, all from orthodox Hindu Brahman families. What ceremony did the author's family participate in annually? The author's family participated in the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony. What was the incident at the Rameswaram Elementary School involving the author? The author was asked to move to the back bench by a new teacher because he was sitting with a Hindu priest's son. How did Laksmana Sastari react to the incident at school? Laksmana Sastari, the high priest and father of the Hindu boy, confronted the teacher and demanded an apology or his resignation. Who was the author's science teacher and what efforts did he make? The author's science teacher was Iv Subramani Aya, who made efforts to break social barriers so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily. How did Iv Subramani Alya react when his wife refused to serve the author in their kitchen? Iv Subramani Alya served the author with his own hands, defying his wife's refusal. What historical event marked the end of the Second World War in the text? The end of the Second World War marked the imminent freedom of India. What declaration did Gandhiji make in the text regarding India's future? Gandhiji declared, Indians will build their own India. Where did the author request permission to study, and what was his father's response? The author requested permission to study at the district headquarters in Ramnathpuram, and his father encouraged him to go, quoting Khalil Gibran. What metaphor did the author's father use to express the idea of growth? The author's father used the metaphor of a seagull flying across the sun, alone and without a nest, to express the idea of growth. What did Khalil Gibran's quote emphasize about children? Khalil Gibran's quote emphasized that children are not the possessions of their parents but the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. What did the author's father say about giving love and thoughts to children? The author's father said, You may give them your love but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. What did the author's family do during the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony? The author's family arranged boats with a special platform to carry idols of the Lord from the temple to the marriage site during the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony. Who was the son of Pakshi Laksmana Sastari, and what did he later take over? Ramanadra Sastari, the son of Pakshi Laksmana Sastari, later took over the priesthood of the Rameswaram temple from his father. Inferential Questions and Answers Why did the author's family participate in the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony? The author's family participated in the ceremony due to their religious and cultural practices, 
as mentioned in the text about arranging boats with the platform for carrying idols of the Lord. What can be inferred about the author's father's attitude toward material comforts? The author's father, despite not seeking many material comforts, ensured that all necessities for the family, such as food, medicine, and clothes, were provided. Why did the author feel sad when asked to move to the back bench at school? The author felt sad because the new teacher asked him to move based on religious differences, separating him from his Hindu friend, Ramanadha Sastri. How did Laksmana Sastri's actions impact the young teacher? Laksmana Sastri's strong stance and demand for an apology or resignation impacted the young teacher, leading to regret and a change in behavior. What does Ev Subramania Ayer's invitation to the author for a meal signify? Ev Subramania Ayer's invitation signifies his effort to break social barriers and promote harmony by inviting a Muslim boy to dine with his Orthodox Brahman family. Why did the author's father quote Khalil Gibran when discussing the author's departure? The quote about the seagull and the sun suggests that the author's father viewed the departure as a necessary part of the author's growth and independence. What can be inferred about the social dynamics in Rameswaram during the Second World War? The text implies that the small society of Rameswaram was rigid in terms of the segregation of different social groups, as mentioned in relation to the incident at the school. Why did the author's family arrange boats with a special platform during the Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony? The family arranged boats to carry idols of the Lord, indicating a deep religious and cultural significance attached to the annual ceremony. How did Ev Subramani Alya challenge societal norms? If Subramani Ayer challenged societal norms by spending time with the author and encouraging him to strive for education, breaking barriers despite his orthodox background. What does the author's father's quote from Khalil Gibran suggest about his perspective on parenting? The quote suggests that the author's father believed in allowing children to grow independently, acknowledging their individuality and unique path in life. Extrapolating questions and answers How might the author's childhood experiences with friends of different religious backgrounds influence his attitude toward diversity later in life? The author's positive experiences with friends from diverse backgrounds in childhood might contribute to a more inclusive and tolerant attitude towards diversity in his adult life. Considering the author's early exposure to social inequality, how could this experience shape his views on social justice and equality in the future? The author's early experience of social inequality at school might lead him to develop a strong sense of commitment to social justice and equality, advocating for fairness in society. Given if Subramania Ayer's efforts to break social barriers, what impact might the author's relationship with his science teacher have on his willingness to challenge societal norms in the future? The positive influence of Ev Subramani Ayer on the author might lead him to become someone who challenges societal norms, fostering inclusivity and breaking barriers in his future endeavors. Considering the author's family's involvement in religious ceremonies, how might his upbringing influence his values and beliefs as he grows older? The author's early exposure to religious ceremonies and traditions within his family might shape his values and beliefs, possibly leading to a strong connection to his cultural heritage in the future. Based on the author's father's emphasis on growth and independence, how might the author approach challenges and opportunities in his adult life? 
The emphasis on growth and independence from the author's father may lead him to approach challenges with resilience and view opportunities as essential for personal and professional development in his adult life.